It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for the next seven days, okay? Mm, now keep in mind that not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you, so we're just going to see what comes up. Ooh. This card just flew out of the deck. Haystack. Haystack. Karma, you will reap what you have sown. So karma can go both ways. I know that some people think that it can't. It can. It can be good or bad. So you, you. Some people have said to me, "Oh no, karma only goes the wrong way. You know, the bad way." No, that's not true. That's not true. Okay, you will reap what you have sown. Those are the key words. You will reap what you have sown. So good or bad. If you have been good. You got something good coming to you. If you have been bad, tough shit. Okay, so what else we got for Pisces? What else we got? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Karma, you will reap what you have sown. Barrel. Ooh, barrel. You feel something is lacking in your life. Perhaps love, money, or goals. So something is lacking in your life. Could be all of the above. Love, money, and goals. Or just one, you know. Something is coming. Some sort of karma is coming. I just got to show you what's on the bottom. I'm not going to take it off because I don't have to use the whole deck. Shield. You need, you need to defend yourself. Oh, they're all trying to show, aren't they? I'm going to go ahead. You need to defend yourself. Now I've looked on the bottom. We have cat, a two-faced friend. So you do have a two-faced friend here, and we are going to stop right there. You need to defend yourself. You have a two-faced friend. This person is not your friend. They're not your friend. What I just heard was Scorpio. So I don't know if you're dealing with a Scorpio or another water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I could be completely wrong. Right when I said that, what came in my head was Scorpio. I don't know. I don't know. Um... What do we have for Pisces? You need to defend yourself. Karma, you will reap what you have sown. What do we have for Pisces? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Hmm. Oh, we got two. Ooh. They really miss you a lot. Somebody really misses you a lot. Skilled player. You may be dealing with a skilled player. Somebody has some cards on the table there. There is somebody that really misses you a lot. I got one card that didn't come up. I gotta see what it is. Ooh, shared values. So you may be striking up a deal with somebody that you have shared values with, that you have a lot in common with. You know, shared, that's who you want to be connected to. Somebody that has the same mindset, that has the same goals, that has the same values as you. Okay, that's who you want to strike up a deal with. We definitely have a skilled player here. We do. Somebody misses you a lot. There's some sort of karma coming. There's something missing from your life. You know what it is. You need to defend yourself from the skilled player, whoever that is. So what do we have for Pisces? You have a two-faced friend here. One minute they look sweet, the next minute they're in attack mode. Sun, you could be dealing with a Leo. No, Sun, it doesn't have to be though. Um, sun is a card, and Cat is a Leo as well. For some of you dealing with a Leo, I'd be very, very careful if you are. Anyhow, I feel like this is a card of enlightenment for you. It's a card of clarity. It's a card of um, happiness, bliss, new day, new beginnings, life-giving energy. So I feel like this is beautiful. It's a beautiful new beginning. This is the birth of something new. It really is. Things growing. It's a time of growth for you. This is being in a bright, warm place. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, so this is a very beautiful energy. I mean, the sun card is a beautiful, beautiful energy. 
So you're probably vibrating at a very high level at this moment or feeling really, really good. If you've been feeling unhealthy, you, you may be healing. You may be starting to feel better. This is actually a very, this is like the best one. Of, I think it is probably the best card that you can get. This is, this is enlightenment. It's, um, it's beautiful. It's shining. You know, maybe you're even in the spotlight. Very positive, right next to that shared value. So there's something positive coming your way that can make you extremely happy. It looks like it's a partnership because these two are together. So it looks like it's a partnership. So I feel like there's a positive new beginning because this is a new beginning. It's a positive new partnership. Maybe you're, maybe you're, you're partnering up with somebody where there's going to be a lot of happiness. And that's what it looks like to me. It has something to do with the cards. Mm, what do we got here? Or, I don't know. <laughs> what do we got? We need to get another one. Money. May have something to do with money. Somebody that has money. Um, you're dealing with somebody that is very skilled. Okay, this is somebody that has a poker face that is very skilled at playing whatever they got to play. Okay, so we got excess, just fell out, wow, wow. I feel like you got a lot on your plate, okay? Holy crap, take a look at that. It feels, this is like the 10 of wands, look at that. You may be feeling like you got a huge weight on your back. Oh my God, that is overwhelming. You're being weighed down by something. It says stress, overload, exhaustion, obsessiveness, gluttony, burdens, worries, the breaking point. Uh, you know, maybe you're at a breaking point. You could very well be at a breaking point where you just can't take something anymore. You've reached a breaking point. It appears to me that this is like not good. Very unhealthy situation. You're trying to do too much. You're going overboard. This is definitely going overboard. Extremely stressed out at this moment. Overload. Well, you're overloaded. You are overloaded. You got a lot of burdens. You you got too much. You got too much going on. You need to let this go. You need some freedom. You need to you need to drop some shit that is weighing you down. You seriously do. There's this is not healthy at all. You are going overboard. You are really 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 going overboard. Wow. Wow. Trying to do too much, trying to prove something to somebody. I feel like you have somebody here that can help you with that shared values. Maybe you need to extend some responsibilities to that person. Maybe it's time for you to strike up a deal with this person. You know, this can make you really happy. This is an opportunity for happiness. It's an opportunity for a fresh start. That's what the sun is. You know, it's a new day. It's a breakthrough. It's a new beginning. But you have to be willing to make that agreement you know, once you sign up for that agreement, you can't back out of it. The light is shining through. Pretty interesting, huh? And that is the light shining through. Things are going to get better as soon as you make this agreement with whoever it is. Chariot. Some of you may be moving traveling, going somewhere. This is facing opposition. It could be literally packing up, packing up your things and moving home. You know, but this is also taking charge, taking the lead, um, going somewhere, taking a journey, leaving the past behind, two of swords. You've been torn in two different directions. I feel like you've also been held back. You've been maybe held back by fear, maybe even denial. You know, the two of swords can be in denial, can be blocking the truth, ignoring the truth, held back by fear. But the chariot is replacing fear with faith and going somewhere, taking this journey, taking this ride, taking this new direction. It's a time of transformation for you. Ooh, four of wands. Could be, it could be a change on the home front. It may have something to do with marriage, it may have to have something to do with commitment. It could be a new commitment, it could be a new home, right? 
This could be an upcoming get together or getting together with somebody. This could be an engagement, getting engaged or moving in with somebody. Something to do with the home. The, the chariot is traveling somewhere, moving, you know, something to do with the home. I think there's going to be a change on the home front or somebody is getting married or they're getting into a commitment that leads to marriage. But that two of swords is some sort of blockage, right? It's, it's a blocking, blocking, being held back by fear, um, torn, torn in two different directions. Torn between two options. King of Swords reversed. Next to that Four of Wands. We have somebody here that hasn't been very logical. They haven't been using their head. Moon reversed. Woo! So that's a reality check. Real seeing the truth. Coming out of darkness. Something's being exposed as well. There's some sort of exposure here right next to the Two of Swords. Light being shed on the truth. Some sort of truth could be revealed or accepted. Eight of Coins reversed. You're working with somebody where it's not working out next to the partnership, the Four of Wands. Eight of, eight of Coins reversed. This isn't working out. Somebody's not putting in effort. There could be loss of money. Maybe there's even some addictions here that are costing somebody some money. Oh, five of coins reversed. Definitely some financial burdens here. Financial struggle. Ooh, four of coins reversed. Just so hold on one second. Ten of pentacles upright. So this is this is your new home or your new living situation or whatever it is. This is abundance. You know, this is a, or a new business. Whatever this is, is financial success, permanent, uh, long-term success, okay? Um, this could be starting something new, building a new home, buying a new home. So I feel like it has to do with a home, an establishment. They have something to do with a business, home or business. But there's, there's letting go with that four of coins reverse. That's letting go. It's letting go of something you were holding on to that isn't no longer stable. That's what this is. It's right next to the ten of coins, okay? Letting go of something that is not really stable. Up here it's holding on. This is letting it go. Brings you the ultimate abundance. So there's something that you need to let go of, okay? Maybe it's just fear. Maybe it's, it's time for you to open up to new experiences. It's time for you. I feel like it has to do with moving. I really, really, really do. Um, or commitment or home. Something about a change in living situation. Four of coins reverse is letting go of something that you have been holding on to that's been some sort of illusion because the moon reverses right next to it. It's been some sort of fantasy. There's been something that has been hidden. Whatever has been hidden is going to be revealed. Um, coming out of denial. Somebody has been in denial. They've been in a state of illusion. I need to get the last card. Something isn't working out. Something that they have been holding on to is not really working out. It's not. With the eight of coins reverse, somebody's not putting in enough effort. They're not, it's, it's just not working out it's because it was based on illusion. It was based on fantasy. Um, I feel like we have a turning point here. I think we have somebody that did not make a very wise decision the, the King of Swords reverse is somebody that did not make a wise decision. They didn't think. They didn't think. They made an uh, impulsive decision. And it's interesting that I say impulsive because now I get the Knight of Wands reverse, which is definitely impulsive. Your overall outcome is uh, I feel like it's giving up something that isn't working out, that isn't giving you the money that you deserve that you that you desire i feel like you have moved to you had moved too fast this is below you so this is what happened you moved too fast into something you got yourself into something too fast and you will reap what you have sown i feel like you jumped you leapt into something i don't know if it was a partnership or something in the past you know or a job or a living situation with somebody that maybe you didn't even know you didn't see them for who they were because I see the blindfold on. It's like just for, I don't know, because of illusion, because of codependence reasons. Um, I feel like there's definitely been some self-deception here with the moon card reverse, and that is definitely your energy. I feel like you were just choosing not to see it, okay? I got to show you. I mean, I got to show you this. 
okay the blindfold just choosing not to see it I'm just gonna ignore it I'm gonna ignore it because you know I'm just gonna pretend that everything is okay because I really don't want to be alone I really don't and I think that's what that is the the moon card is a very it is codependent it is a need it, it is there's addictions here there's obsessions here you know addicted to uh, I don't know some of you may have been not wanting to be alone maybe you needed money you needed some sort of money this says some sort of financial stability maybe a roof over your head something like that maybe maybe you needed to prove a point a do see proving a point maybe you needed to prove a point to somebody else so you jumped and leapt into something else anyhow somebody did not meet make a very logical decision okay they didn't make a logical decision um they may have married or got themselves into a living situation with an individual that is abusive or lies a lot or doesn't tell the truth or is emotionally unavailable or something like that just for financial reasons anyhow i do believe we have a turning point here i feel like we have a turning point i think we have an individual that's about to follow their heart in a new direction i feel like they have not been listening to their gut they have not been listening to their heart they've been holding on to something that felt safe to them but now it's like letting it go i'm looking for it to have it all you know i want to have it all I want to have it all. I want to have the abundance. I want it to last forever. I want to have the success. So I feel like we have somebody here that is definite, and I think it's you, okay? I think you are headed towards success. I feel like you are determined to be successful. I feel like you are very strong. I feel like you are mastering your emotions, and you're leaving something behind because that is what the chariot does. The chariot leaves something behind to go in a new direction towards success. And I do see the success here. I feel like you get it, you're going to get this sudden desire desire to do so um and maybe you've already been thinking about it for a while i almost feels like you're throwing your heart into a new life a new beginning it's like you just decided you know what i'm sick of this i'm sick of it i'm sick of not having the success that i deserve i'm sick of putting all this work into something and not getting any payout not getting what i deserve anyhow i feel like um some of you are going to be deepening a bond with somebody. You may be stepping it up to the next level with somebody that you have been connecting with. Maybe you've been in blocking this person or pushing this person away or protecting yourself from this person in some way. I think you're going to be opening up or they're going to be opening. Somebody's going to be opening up. If there's been some sort of pushing away, somebody is opening up. This is definitely a turning point. I feel like there's been some sort of neglect or there's been some sort of financial burdens. But it's because of the choices. The Two of Swords is a choice. It's about the choices that you make. Okay, if you choose to live in lack, which you have been. If you choose to be connected to somebody that's not putting in effort, that they're not paying you, that they're not, they're not doing their fair share, well, that's your choice. Okay, that's your choice. You've, you've chosen the path that you're on. Now, I do believe that this is, there's some sort of reality check here and coming out of denial. I feel like you've been in some sort of state of illusion, honestly. Some of you may be even changing jobs or changing... Uh, it's either changing jobs or changing your living situation. could be even both. Ooh, Knight of Cups in reversed on the bottom. Now, that is unhappy. It's heartbreaking. It's sad. Um, could be definitely the end of a relationship. Um, parting ways. You could be dealing with somebody who's just not giving you the love that you're looking for. You may not be in love with this person. This is a lack of love. There could even, this, this is like emotions all over the place. Okay. This is like a, a broken engagement or a withdrawn invitation or a loveless situation. Okay. Um, <laughs> feels like it's unrequited love. I think you've been in a situation where there's a lack of emotional content. There could be definitely a sudden departure here with the Knight of Wands reversed. And I think what happened is, is that you rushed. You rushed into something with somebody without even knowing them. Anyhow, King of Swords reversed. Didn't make a good, a good, smart, intelligent decision. There's some sort of abuse here. Somebody is going to be... I feel like we have a separation. I really do. I feel like we have a separation. Somebody's been going somewhere anyway. It feels like they've been... They've been uh, I don't know. Somebody's been traveling somewhere and hiding it. You know, and the truth gets revealed. I don't know if there's... While they're at work. So that something is happening while somebody is at work. 
you know, it feels like somebody and they're not really working or something and it gets revealed. The truth has been hidden and the tr hidden truth gets revealed. It has to do with driving a vehicle or going somewhere, you know, going to somebody's home. And I don't know, it feels like there's been some sort of, um, I don't know if there's been like, it's called like per promiscuity, you know, per promiscuous cheating. You know, somebody's been doing something behind the scenes and it gets revealed. Something some, some, something is that has been hidden or ignored. It's like the truth has been ignored. It's getting revealed. And it has to do with travel. Like somebody's been going somewhere and doing something behind the scenes. You know, and I feel like that's coming out. It's like illusions being destroyed. I'm sorry. Um, somebody, yeah. I do have a turning point here. You're, I feel like there's some sort of relief that is coming. You're about to see. When, when you partner up or whoever is partnering up together, their shared values, which brings relief. So there's some sort of relief that is coming by whatever this deal is that you're making. You're going to find somebody could be really angry and say some really mean words because of your decision. If you decide to partner up with somebody else, you could be dealing with an individual that gets abusive, you know, mentally abusive, verbally abusive. This, this person, uh, you know, threatens you in some way. Because that's manipulation. They try. They may try to manipulate you they, and cause you to be scared. They may try to instill fear in you. Follow your heart, please. Follow your heart. Some of you may be reuniting with a soulmate. You know, I'm just saying. And this is somebody. And this doesn't have to be somebody from your fat past. When I say reuniting, it could be somebody from a past life. We may have a past life connection here. Somebody that you just feel very familiar with, that you have shared values with. You just know. It's like you just know that this is who you're supposed to be with. We definitely have an unrequited love situation here. I feel like there's going to be um, a change. Somebody's going to get really angry and upset. You know, they may question you. I think that you're overwhelmed. I think that you have a lot on your plate. I think it's time for you to partner up with whoever this person is that can help you. This person can help to give you relief. You know, not only can they bring you relief and they can bring you relief in many, many ways. Okay. They can just, you will feel, you'll be able to breathe again. They'll help you. So I feel, I feel like there's some sort of help around you, but you just have to, you have to agree to it, okay? And when you agree to it, that mean it may it may mean moving. I do see I do see moving. Anyhow, good luck.